Hello, and welcome to another Star Wars Clones episode review. Clone review. This time it's on episode 3, On the Wings of Kyridax, which is the third episode of the Bad Batch arc. So, uh, let's just jump into it. But first, a couple of things. You may notice my hair is a little bit different. That's because I got a trim at long last. It's no longer the mop on my head that it was previously, so that's quite nice. You know, it actually looks, actually looks alright, you know. Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 3. On the Wings of Kyridax. So, the Wings of Kyridax, it, as I said, is the third episode in the Bad Batch arc of the Clone War Season 7. They Last episode, they freed Echo from the Techno Union's um, stasis pod, and now they're bringing him back to Republic. To the Republic, really. I was going to say, like, Republic owned territory, but they're just bringing him back to the Republic after his death on the Cita in the Citadel. We get to see more of Echo. He's finally back with the boys but this was my least favorite of the three episodes i think yeah i think it would i think it was so let me give you a brief, brief overview of the episode so it leave it starts off where they left off last episode they're facing off against the droids on the um in the massive techno union facility where they found echo so yeah they free echo from the stasis pod last episode and now rex and tech are seeing to him making sure that he's safe to to leave while they while they hold off the droids who are encroaching on their position they're cornered right now a lot of droids so they shut the doors they weld them shut and the fucking techno union send in the little uh little probe droid ting i forgot it was called just a second i'll get i'll get the name yes so the techno union send in the decimator i remember thinking it was some like sort of dr doofenshmirtz you know kind of invention it's a three thousand denator my smellinator my blow itself up inator the monster truck away inator! The atomic leaf blower inator! Because he always adds inator to the end of his shit. That's, a, that's another story for another day. Is what Tambor, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, Star Wars theory. But, <laughs> all memes aside. Yeah, they send in the decimator, which is like one of Darth Maul's probe droids, but it has a laser on the front. And then it opens up like a sea mine and uh, shoots electricity everywhere. It's pretty fucking metal. But yeah, they send that in to go and uh, kill all the droids. All the droids? What the fuck? They send that in to kill the clones. And so what it does is it uses the laser to cut through... Or two lasers, really. To cut through the doors, which they've been welding shut. And then as it when it gets in, it just <laughs> shoots electricity everywhere. But luckily, with Echo having access to the Techno Union's database, he knows the schematics of this building. So what he does is he's like, there's a vent up there. He opens it with his little astromech arm, which I forgot, but was pretty sick. He opens it up, and then the wrecker chucks everyone up there before just sticking bombs everywhere. And by this time, the decimate has broke through the final door, and it's going in, shooting his electricity everywhere as Anakin pulls wrecker up. And it goes after obviously they're all in the vent, so it doesn't it doesn't detect them. So what time was like? Why did it stop? And the droid's like. There are no organic life forms in there. And then what time was it? Bruh. And then it explodes. And he almost dies. But in this episode I realised I, I quite like what Tambor as a villain. He's one of my he's one of my favourite villains. And then he goes on about how the techno uni have lost profit on the, or have lost money on this um this invention, which was just it was just Echo. But they've lost money on it. So they're like, what the fuck? We need to make our money back. I think he's a pretty cool villain. I always liked his little voice modulator thing. He doesn't really do that in this episode, which is strange. I remember he did it a lot in the early episodes of The Clone Wars, where it was like, woo, but he do not do that anymore. So after that, they're, they're walking through the vents. It's like, these vents are used to, con co to cool all of the, uh, the, the, the computer systems. Why not just use a fucking Corsair water cooler, you know what I'm saying? But if they want to do it this way, they could do it this way. They fucking bust out. Echo's like, yes, I know a way out, but, but you're not going to like it. And then it's just like a really thin, like, pipe that they have to walk across. And it's it's the classic, the enemies are on either side of the uh, the pipe. And the people in the middle are like, oh, well, what, the, what the fuck are we doing? So and he's like, turn back. But then the ones on the other side come out, and then one's like, what the fuck? Wrecker's obviously scared of heights. That was set up for those last episode. So he's not doing that well. But then Tech, with his fucking recording ting... He records everything. He'd be a good vlogger. A cl clone vlogger. Ah, oh, yes, I've got the distress calls of the Kyrodex. I'm going to just go through all these fucking recordings I have, and uh, we'll be saved, boys. So he finds it, he plays it, everyone's like, bruh, that's a bit loud. And then the Kyrodex come, 
and then they save them. They have to jump down on the Kyrodactyl, which is obviously very, very nerving for these clones, but Anakin's like, well, fuck it. I'm a Jedi. This whole story's about me. I'm gonna be fine. So he leaps, and everyone else leaps. And uh, yeah, and then, then the droids, they finally reveal their ability to fly. They don't just have four arms, they can fucking fly, but we already knew this. They're called D-Wings, after all. Not B-3s, as I um, wrongly referred to them as in the last few episodes, which I apologise. They're called D-Wings, not B-3s. B-3s are something completely different. For some reason, I thought they were called B-3 droids. Don't know where I got that from, but I do apologise. I do know the, the B-3 droid is basically the super, super battle droid. So I apologise for that. <laughs> But yeah, D-Wings, they can fly, and the fl their wings look fucking sick. They look cooler than I thought they would. I thought they'd just be like a, a translucent green sheet, but no, they're actually like, um, hexed, I think. They fly now! They fly now! Which, uh, anyway, they look pretty cool. So they fly after them, but obviously, you get te technological flight, it's no way, it's no match for a biological flight. So the Kyrodax get away. One of the droids flies into a fucking rock. I don't know how that happened, it just, it just did. So they go back to the Poltak village. And the Poltak's like, bro, you just brought war here. And they're like, yeah, my bad bro, but look what they did to my mate. They turned him into a machine. And the Poltak's like, yeah, you right. And then the droids invade the village. They have a big old fight. Lots of Poltaks die. And then a Kyrodak gets shot. And that's when I fucking was like, what the fuck? Why have you done this? It's like when a dog dies in a f film, everyone cares about the dog more than they care about the, like, the humans. And, that, and that's what I felt about the Kyrodax versus the Poltax. I was like, bruh. Bruh, you'd have to shoot one. Bruh. Yeah, and they send in the Octoptoro droids. They have massive fucking thrusters on the bottom, which I thought was pretty funny. Everything on this fucking planet is airborne in the droid army, apparently. I thought they could have fucking spun their legs like a helicopter. I thought that would have been funny, but we've already had helicopter lightsabers and I don't think the community could withstand helicopter legs as well. So maybe that's why they didn't do that. But yeah, it was kind of War of the Worlds-esque when all the like all the droids were running in. They were like zombies kind of, which isn't War of the Worlds. I do know that, but they, they just look like fucking... They were just running in, like gunning everything, gunning down the natives who were throwing rocks at them and spears. Now I like spears. These are primitive weapons against the droids, but don't worry, we got the got the bad batch. They're fine. They're saving everyone. So yeah, when the optic droids was kind of shooting everyone, it kind of gave me War of the World vibes because it was like the massive um, War of the World alien robot things that disintegrating people. It was kind of like that. They had purple lasers, which I thought was fucking sick, unless I'm just colorblind, which is possible because I am. But I thought they were purple, and I'm gonna choose to believe they were purple. But yeah, eventually the the bad batch win, and the Partex like yeah. Let's celebrate. I mean, most of our people have died, but we won. So, celebrations are in order. And then, uh, yeah, they get ready to leave. But my, my thought was why they were leaving. It was because a few droids survived. And went back to Wat Tambor to tell them that they failed. So my thinking is, they're going to leave the Poltax, and the Poltax are going to get fucking decimated, because they're not going to have clones there to protect them. I don't believe what Tambor is not going to is going to not attack the Poltax because they helped the Republic. So really, they've just doomed these natives to their death, <laughs> and no one seemed to bat an eye about it. So yeah, the Poltax are gonna fucking die. But um, what Tambor's like, yeah, we need to find a way to recoup our profits, which I think means the next episode is still part of the Bad Batch story. I think it might be a four-parter. I thought it was a three-part, but it might be a four-parter. And this is where I see Admiral Trench's death. I think. If you guys have enjoyed like the video. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading any TF2 videos. I have some recorded. I just haven't had the time to edit them. I apologize. It's just uni work is a lot. But I'm, I'm hoping that I can edit together a video for you pretty soon. It should be out within the next week, but I don't want to make any promises. Well, these, are, these videos are easy to record and edit because they don't require a lot of editing. Whereas I like to really edit my content to make it good for you guys. This is a review. I don't feel like I need to edit this a lot doing like funny effects and stuff i just want to get my information out there to you and see what you thought of the episode so yeah with that said please like subscribe down below follow me on twitter and i shall see you guys in the next video have a great day peace <coughs>
Yo, bitch can view, took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy, I just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.